Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, we just finished exploring Oak Town. Now let's get a recap to what's going on. Ah, Faust! There you are. I have some rather bad news. My daughter tells me Elena was kidnapped by a group of hooded men. It was terrible! They threatened her, then took her away! Do you have any idea where she was taken to? This is very important. I think one of the bad men mentioned the School of Magic. The School of Magic? That's pretty far from here. Faust, you have to go there. Whatever is happening, it sounds really serious. Don't worry about it. I'll head out right away. You'll need a sword first. There has been an increase in monsters roaming around outside the town. People have been getting injured. I think there is a sword around here somewhere. The merchant told me one fell off his wagon on the way here. The merchant takes the forest route into the town, so perhaps the sword is there. Just follow the pathway there to the east and you'll reach the forest. The chicken has moved out of the way. And do be careful. Quest updated. Okie doke, what do we got here? I equipped the potion. That was not really my intent. Uh, more on equipping items as soon as we get to that point. Quest log. Framed wings. Oh, title drop. Alina has been kidnapped by a group of mysterious magicians for reasons unknown. Before I track down the magicians responsible, I need to find myself a new sword. I found out that a merchant may have dropped a sword in the forest to the east of Oaktown. As a reminder, Elena was kind of framed for the stealing of the grimoire. Although she did have a hand in stealing it, but not of her own choice. I feel like that is what the title of the game is referencing, considering that seems to be a major plot point. Anyway, sword found. Fancy. Was it that fancy in the version that I played? I can't remember. Anyway, I should equip my new sword. Hold C button to use the special attack spiral. Controls. If you forget, forget the controls during your travels, don't worry, you have easy access to them by selecting the controls item from the items menu. Yeah, I was expecting that to be an option earlier, but I guess since we don't have all the controls, or didn't have all the controls, we didn't have the option to look at them. Look what we have here. Ugly human thinks he can tippy-toe into our forest and take our stuff. Technically, it's not yours. It is belonged to the merchant, and he said I could have it. Very rude and unforgivable. Were you not tight bought or taught by your parents never to mess with us fierce goblins? Do you not know how many pathetic humans we'd consume in our daily diets? Actually, not many. <laughs> I just remember the last time we messed around with a human. He came back the next day for revenge and destroyed our entire village in a single sunset. Yeah, so you probably don't want to mess with me then. Haven't eaten human flesh for a long time. Mouth is watering. I cannot imagine what it must be like being on the food chain. I don't really want to find out. You're making a huge mess over there, and it is quite disgusting. I know we're goblins and everything, but at least learn a little self-control. But enough talk. Consider this our revenge on you humans. Time to eat! Okay. Holding C to charge, and... Oh, I didn't charge long enough. 
Step away. There we go. Huzzah! And I got some string out of it. And there we go. Look at the bottom of the screen. We got ourselves a HUD. Okay, so you can tell there I got an item. There's my potions that I accidentally equipped. Uh, I'm pretty sure the game will explain how that works in controls. Arrow keys, move character, A, hold to dash, double tap to dodge. Okay, I might want to write this stuff down so that I am able to remember it easier. And by that I mean I won't have to remember it. I can just look over at my second screen and know what I'm pressing. I notice that once again, despite C being an option for interacting and attacking, it is not mentioning C. Okay, so S. S is the button I want to press if I want to quickly use an equipped item, such as those potions. And there's also a shield button. I don't have a shield yet, but I'm going to really want to keep that in mind at some point. So let's see here. What was that I was just looking at? So if I press Q, that opens another menu that I can use to choose what item I have equipped. And I can also go to other pages by pressing R and L. No. How do I... Okay, page up and page down. We don't have any skills to equip yet, but... Oh boy, there's, there's some good ones in this game. I look forward to one in particular that's going to take a while to get to, but... Oh gosh, it's good. Okay, once again, down there is the HUD... Attacking takes up stamina. Oh, and there's the uh, Rurouni Kenshin character portrait. Not exactly, but definitely reminds me of Rurouni Kenshin. But as you can see, attacking with your sword lowers your stamina percentage. That is what I was talking about with Secret of Mana. That is what it kind of reminds me of. And what button is dash? A button is dash. So this is dashing, once again takes up stamina, and once you're out, you're back at normal speed. I will say this, dashing is not a lot faster than walking. Also, double tap A to dodge. You, double, you wind up backing off a couple of spaces. I wouldn't have minded that there was a dedicated dodge button. It is... slightly awkward to double tap to dodge. More importantly, it's something that you would want to do really quick. So I don't know that how often that I'll be using it. I see you found yourself a sword. You should head to Rishiri Village. You'll find the School of Magic there. Here, take this. Another potion? Nice. Potion. From the items menu, you can equip potions. Once the potion is equipped, exit the items menu and the potion shall be displayed on the HUD. Press S to consume the potion. Oh, remember to visit your house. You've been away for so long, you must have missed relaxing there. Take care, Faust. Don't let me down and bring that knucklehead Alina back home. If you need me, I'll be helping out at the town shop. Where'd he go? How'd you manage to get in here? Is there a secret underground tunnel I don't know about? Fast! How's your adventure going? You should head to Rishinari Village. That's where you'll find the School of Magic. If you need supplies, you can buy yourself some potions from here. Just speak to the nice chap behind the counter. I'll give you some gold to help you out. Well, definitely worth coming in here. Anything else? How's your adventure? Need supplies? Just speak to a nice chap. Nope, only the one time. Well, that's definitely helpful. 
You know what? Definitely a good idea to head to my house. I need to recover after the last, last fight. There's some mean slimes out there that are dangerous. One of them ate my ball! Oh, so you didn't retrieve the ball. Make sure you don't get gobbled up too. Huh. I've heard of having a ball, but that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, right, I can dash. Oh, something else I remembered. Holding the dash button. And I'm using up my stamina. And I'm exhausted. Out of curiosity. Yeah, if you get to the point where you can't actually... Or when your stamina is low, it does... Hinder your ability to attack. Odds are... You're not going to have to worry too much about running out of stamina, though. So how about that spin attack I just did, by the way? That was certainly an attack. This game definitely has some good special attacks, I tell you what. And I think... I think... Each weapon you acquire also has its own special attack. I forgot to mention something important. On your travels, you may stumble across many of these statues. The statue right here is called a fast travel statue. When you discover new towns or important places, the location gets added to the fast travel list. Select your desired lo destination from the list and away you go! It is quite convenient. Be sure to examine them when you have discovered more places. Good luck out there, Faust. So, there you go. You cannot use the fast travel unless you've been to other locations. You can only go to places you've visited. Has it occurred to anybody just how weird that actually is? Like... I get why it's a thing in this game and other games. The, they want you to... They want to make sure that you go through all the locations in the game in the intended order. It would kind of break things if you could just go to anywhere you wanted with fast travel. That is why you have to visit them first. But what is the logic behind that? What is the in-world logic? That I can't, for example, say, Hey, a statue, take me to the town with the School of Magic. I think they said it was Rishiri Town. Let me check that. Yeah, Rishiri Village. Why can't we just say to the statue, Hey, statue, take me to Rishiri Village. Like, is there some communication problem between statues? Is my statue being like, Hey, Rishiri statue. We got this guy named Foss here who, who wants to teleport to you, and the Rishiri statue is all... Foss? Never met him. Sorry, I can't help somebody I've never met before. Imagine if it worked that way with party members as well. Like, hey statue, can you take me to the first town? And the statue would be all, hey, sure, I can take you back to the first town. But I cannot take your red mage to the first town because your red mage didn't join until the third town. You're going to have to take him there manually. Again, I totally understand why it's like this. It is important to kind of gatekeep in a game like this. But I still wouldn't mind seeing a game where you have a fast travel option and every fast travel location was available from the start. I imagine that would be something you'd want for a more open world game. By the way, I found out what it was here that is different. And yeah, this place is definitely different than it was in the version that I played. A lot more natural than it was the first time. Minus one tree. Okay, let's go ahead and make some for progression now. Initial enemies are going to be pretty easy. Oh, by the way, down there in the lower left, there is a meter showing how close I am to the next level. Currently, I'm at level 2. Did I already gain a level? 
Huh. I can't remember what level I was when I beat the game originally. Ooh, nice crit. There we go, level three. Oh, I see that. Potion. There was also an opening over here. Is there going to be a hidden item over here? Nope. Then we have some sort of... Puffball with eyes. It's kind of neat how the enemy grows in size when it dies. I wonder how that's managed. I don't remember necessarily RPG Maker XP having that sort of ability by default. There's gotta be some sort of special trickery going on. This is not a path. Down is a town. Let's head up. I think there's some optional stuff in that direction. Though I'm kind of curious, am I able to walk this way? I mean, I am, but it doesn't lead anywhere. It was worth looking in. You never know. Might be more hidden treasures. It doesn't hurt to use some of that stamina to get around quickly. Nothing else here? Well, let's go in the cave. Cave! You don't say. Tell you what, this sword has some good range. You probably notice that movement is tile-based, like your average JRPG. But it is not too much of a hindrance in regards to attacking enemies. You can even hit enemies at an angle to, to an extent. And wow, this, this cave is completely different. There was a bridge originally, but originally the bridge was leading off to the right. Incidentally, I don't know how many places from here I'm going to remember because this is about as far as I edited my original playthrough before I realized that there was a newer version. Caution advice, beware of holes in the cave floor. And the last time I played this game was two Februarys ago when I originally streamed it. So, actually, exploring this cave with it being redesigned to this extent is actually going to be slightly blind. I don't know what's here. Actually, I don't remember what was here in the first place. Hundred gold. That's kind of nice. I also see a staircase. Watch out for holes. Is this a hole? You do take damage if you don't fall down a hole, I think. Goodness, his enemies also fall down the hole. That was kind of funny. So we got an animal hide, huh? The hide of an animal. Used for crafting. We've also found some magic tears and... Also, that string we found before. So I don't think there's anything else in this cave. Over there to the right is where we started. As I mentioned at the start of this playthrough, this game does have some Zelda-like dungeons. But it also has some standard dungeons like this one. Not really an important place, just a side area. And that's, that's perfectly fine. Oh, I just noticed, up there in the upper left it shows what enemy we're attacking and how much health it has. So, in that case, I'm kind of curious. What are these puffballs called? Fluff. <laughs> Appropriate name. They actually remind me of the fluff that blows off a of dandelions. Gosh, those things are fun.
And if I load this save now... No? Okay, if I quit the game and then load the save... Okay, well, that's something that's been updated since the first time I played. Uh, I wound up quitting here in the middle of the field, and when I reloaded my save, the enemies seemed to respawn. Either that or I saved before killing them. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. I also just noticed there's a bird nest in that tree. That's a nice little touch. Okadai Town. If those disgusting things get into the town, we'll all be doomed, I tell you. If only there were someone that could help. Oh, a handsome warrior has appeared. Excuse us. Do you think you could help two damsels in distress? You see, there has been an invasion of horrid vomit-inducing slimes around the lake. They, they sound like a real pleasant enemy. Kind of like it, I didn't really give them a chance to attack me. I wonder if they can poison me. If they invade the town, it'll be outright disaster, and the children playing outside will be in danger. You must clear out those slimy good-for-nothings at the lake for us. Of course, we wouldn't ask you to help us without anything in return. We have rewards. Wait, we do? I'm sure he'll be happy with a few potions and some pocket money. Well, I don't have any spare gold, and I certainly don't have any potions. Well, you need to contribute something. Do you honestly think working on the farm all day brings in barrels of gold? I do have a family to feed in case that slipped your mind or something. Fine, I get it. Don't get your dress in a twist, for goodness sake. I'll head home and dip into my hard-earned savings just this once. But why do you have potions? That's a long story. Anyway, I'll leave it to you. Hold on a sec. Why do you have potions? So where is this lake exactly? Oh yes, that's right. The entrance to the lake is just at the bottom of the village. Follow me, I'll show you the way. Just follow the pathway down there and you'll reach Okadai Lake. And do be careful, dear. Quest updated. Well, I'm almost out of time for today, so we won't necessarily worry about doing the quest yet. Instead, I want to double check something. Let me head back to the other entrance of town. We'll explore town properly next time. Perhaps after we do the quest that we've just been given. Uh, mm, no, I'll, I'll save that for next time as well. Just to demonstrate, what is the diagonal range of my sword here? Yeah, your weapon definitely has some good range. So the fact that you can only walk on tiles is definitely not a hindrance. Or if it is a hindrance, it's very much not much of one. Actually, something else I want to check real quick. Charging up. 100%. No, that's not actually a screen wipe. It looks like a screen wipe, but um, no, that's just a screen effect. And it hits enemies that happen to be close to you. Oh well. It's still a pretty good attack. Hits multiple times, hit enemies around you. Like I said, the combat in this game is definitely pretty good, and one of the reasons I really like this game. Anyway, as I was saying before, we are out of time for today. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.